Welcome back. Today we're working on the stampede and I noticed right here that I bent the kingpin and I need to replace those. So what I got here is my replacement part here, kingpins from Traxxas. That's the part number you need. If you don't have a hobby store by you, I'll leave a link down below to Amazon so you guys can check that out and get it off Amazon. But that gives us new kingpins. But as you can see, it's bent pretty good. Well, another weak spot on the uh, Stampedes and the Rustlers is this caster block. So while I was there, I picked up some RPM caster blocks. These things are guaranteed for life and RPM stuff is made in the USA and it's a lot stronger. So what we're going to do is, is I'm going to show you how to go ahead and change one of these out. Um, the actual spindle part right here that the bearings go in, the bearing carriers, RPM makes those too, but I haven't had no issues with those yet, so I'm not going to mess with them. I'm just going to change the caster blocks out because that's the main issue. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, on the side that's bent, the kingpin, it should be coming up through here on top, right through that hole, but it's not. So the C-clip has already popped off of there, so I should be able to just grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it right out. There goes the clip. Then there is my bent kingpin. Now, I don't know, I might try to keep this and bend it back just for a spare, but I'm gonna change it out with the other ones. Now, all you gotta do to change the caster block out is take the screw out here, and then take your screw out right back here on that, and that should pop right out. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that screw came out, go ahead and pull that screw the rest of the way out. And there is the left side caster block. As you notice, there is an L on it for left. And then if you look at the RPMs without the glare, you can see that one's a left, that one's a right. So we're gonna go ahead and open these up and get that replaced. Now that we got this out of the package, all you do is go ahead and reverse what you did before. First thing I did was I put the pin back through here, that way this pivots. Now the next thing you gotta do is take your king pin. And then you gotta take these fun little clips and you gotta try to get that little small thing lined up into the groove and push it on. Sometimes these little things could be a pain, they can fall out, fly, whatnot. So what I'm gonna do is, is until I get it in, I'm gonna do it off camera, that way I don't get aggravated with the camera in the way. Be right back. Now that I got the C-clip on the kingpin, what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna bring the spindle back over here with the bearing or bearing carrier, however you wanna say it. We're gonna try to get this line back up here and shove this right through the bottom hole. Once it's lined up, then you see how it popped through the top right there. Now we have the joy of putting another C-clip in right there. And then we're all done with the kingpin, and then we just gotta bolt the rest of it back up. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this with a pair of pliers to show you guys. I might have to shut the camera off again, because I get pretty aggravated with these, trying to get them on. Now that we got the C-clip on the kingpin there, the last thing we gotta do is we got the tool link here, and I'm gonna put the screw in. And the hardest part I have with this, I'm gonna do it by finger, is you gotta get new threads started in that block. So I try to do it by finger first. This is one of those pieces that's kind of difficult. But once you get it started, then you can use the screwdriver. And there we go, we got it started like that. Now I'll finish it with the screwdriver to get it all the way tightened up. Now that we got that done, you can see where the C-clip went through. Got the screw in there, screw in there. Then down on the bottom right there, where my thumb is, we got the clip in there. Now we'll take a look at it here real quick. And that's what it looks like. And that's all there is 
to installing the caster block and the kingpin on a Traxxas uh, Stampede, which I have, or a Rustler, they're the same setup. Now all you gotta do is duplicate it, duplicate it on the other side, which I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do it on a camera. You guys saw how I did it on this side. So this is a good way to beef up this area right here. You can kind of already tell by looking at this one with that bent uh, kingpin. You can see how this is bowed out down on the bottom. So the RPM one should help with that. Well, that's all I got for you today. I'll leave uh, links down below to Amazon for you guys to check out these parts in case you ain't got a hobby store by you. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.